morning. In this video tutorial, we're going to give you a quick overview of how to access and use Kansas City Life's brand new term quarter. The quarter has been streamlined to allow our agents to find the right term policy for their clients quicker and more efficiently. Simply log in on IKC Life, and once you've logged in, you will see an option for the term quarter on the left. Simply click on that, and that will bring up the term quarter user interface. First, a quick rundown of where the inputs we're all used to are located. On the top left, you'll see a drop-down with all the products, along with billing mode and billing type. Prepaid premiums can also be entered here. Below is another box containing all the writers available to the term products. Simply clicking on the writer will bring up additional writer information. To actually add a writer, simply checkmark the box and fill out any applicable information relative to the writer that appears below. The next area of interest is the client box. It's located in the middle of the quarter and outlines all of the client specific input information the quote would need. The next box is the values box. Here you can input the specified amount you would like to quote. To run the case, click run case. This will display the premium based on the billing mode and type you chose. After viewing the premium for a case, if you'd like to view a full illustration, you can click on the client information, type in the additional details. You can also choose to save the case by naming it anything you'd like. To view a full illustration, simply check mark the box that says view full illustration. Select run case. This will bring up the premium we saw, but you'll also see you'll then have the option to open and view the full PDF that you could then print and show your clients. While using the new quarter, you may notice that sometimes you may enter values into fields that the quarter doesn't seem to like. Here, the quarter doesn't like the specified amount entered. What we'll want to do is then change the specified amount to an acceptable value that is listed in the validation. We'll also want to put in a birthday. You'll see here a blue message pops up that says this is an age near product, so based on the birthday, age 32 was used. The rule of thumb for validation is that if you see red, something needs to be changed, whereas if you see something blue, something has happened that you might be interested in seeing. We hope you find using the new term quarter straightforward and intuitive. However, as always, we're here to answer any questions or help with any problems you may have. You can email us at illustrationhelp at kclife.com or call us at 800-572-2467, extension 8162, anytime between 8 a.m. and 4.15 p.m. Monday through Friday. Thank you for taking this quick tutorial with us, and we look forward to helping you out in the future.